hi guys and welcome to my floating piano keys so let me just show you how it works you can see the button floating around all you guys need to do is click on any of the button to make, to make a tune and you can also use your keyboard I also use your keyboard to make these tunes that's me now using my keyboard so what I'll do next is just to take you guys straight into game maker development environment and I just develop a brand new one and you guys see how it's done this is a game maker tutorial on um, this very tutorial I'll be creating what I would I refer to as a floating piano so I have a sprite already selected maybe I should start all over and you see that so right click create sprite so I will now load up my sprite right here the sprite I intend to use is called buttons and I've created those buttons already there they are so let me start by selecting the black buttons make sure the background are not selected there then give it a name the name is going to be sprite b underscore b lowercase b there's the exact name there click on ok repeat exactly the same thing for the rest black buttons okay. load that up that's a c sharp maybe get rid of the background color paste that there so what i'll do next is just uh, let me speed it up and i'll get back to you guys shortly and there guys this is how my sprite is looking i have all of my sprite in place next thing is to right click on the sound create sound upload sound and there they are start with a so that will be sound underscore a click on ok so you can even test this very sound if you want yep that's it click on ok i will repeat exactly the same process for the next one so i want to be there so all i do now is just uh, speed it up because i have 70 18 of those to go through okay fellows let me show you guys the sound here are all the sound that I've uh, imported and we also have the sprite so the next thing would be to start to work on the objects so, okay let's start work on the object right click on the object create so in this case let me just call that object C and get my tar C right there so go to event add event create event now in there add the vertical speed so let's make the speed 4 and click on ok the next thing is click on orders outside room select wrap spring and change the horizontal to vertical click on ok add another event select mouse click left button now come to draw right here this tab called draw select the effect that I want I want eclipse effect make that relative click on ok select another effect you can always use one but that's just I just want to that's fine click on ok then the next thing is I want the sound click on sound play the sound that I want is for C right there select C as the C sound click on ok and that is all there is to it click on ok to accept it right click on the room create room that's the room right there I'm going to set my room to 1000 by 480 now let's change the color of the room let me just change that to black get rid of this I don't need that come back to objects and just click you can let's try it out anyway run this program to see now if I click on that you hear that guys okay let's try another one again so close that let's create a C, uh, C sharp let's call that C sharp get the C sharp in into the system right there and yeah, that's it right there or you can create a duplicate that will make life easy okay so i'm gonna delete my c sharp delete create a duplicate because all of the events and the action is in place already so all you just need to do is come over here enter the name c sharp and change 
change the sprite to see each other click on OK there now come here change that to C sharp and just drop it wherever you want it if you run the system and this is what you get press F4 see that so I will now speed this up and get back to you guys okay guys this is how this tutorial is looking right now so let me just run it for you guys to see what I've done so far and right there let's press F4 that is how it's looking it's not, it's not completed so let me finish up the, the floating keys and I'll get back to you guys so with the floating keys all I've been doing is just duplicating the keys so the next one here is just for me to select F key and come in here double click on the sound and change the sound to F and that is that sorted we just change the object name as advisable you make sure you give it the right name now right click on F create another duplicate let's change the sprite to G come in there G right there change the sound to G and that is it right there click on OK so those two sprites that I've just uh, finished up let me come up here come to F select F maybe drop F somewhere here I have H F there and G maybe. let's get a G that's a G there where G goes there yeah, and save run this system let's see okay this and some of them seems to be faster so we may have to increase some speed there D is a little bit too slow or maybe I can just I can still leave it like that. so that is how you create a floating piano but let me just finish it up then i'll show you guys the final product okay guys all of the keys are in place but uh, there seems to be one or two problem of the keys laying over the orders so if i run it you'll see what i'm talking about there let's make that this is what I'm talking about so I'm going to have to take care of the, the D can you see the D and the B and we have the same problem there that's the G and D1 I don't know how that happens we have the same problem here so let's get that sorted guys so to get that sorted I will just come straight into the sprite right here I'm going to reduce the size of this sprite. Let's reduce the width to something a little bit smaller, maybe 60 or 50. Let's let me make that 50. I'll repeat the same thing for all of the sprites and get back to you guys. Right, guys, this is the final output, and this is how it's looking right now. Well, one other thing that I've incorporated into it is uh, to be able to use the keyboard you can see that's the keyboard i've only entered the keyboard on the, just the c key right there so i'll now take you straight to the program to show you how to embed the keyboard into it so let's go to the program now now back into the program this is the c key i've embedded so what i'll do next is to embed more keys so I'll double click on, let me double click on this uh, D. So select an event and come to key press right here. Go to the latest, select D. Then D you can see, press D. So all I just need to do is to copy those components right there and just drop it in there. So I'll now repeat the same thing for all the other keys. But let me just try it out. All I press now is just the letter D. So it's press C. Combine both letters and press the letter and also using my mouse. Okay, 
okay that's just combination using the letters both letters and the mouse okay so let's go back into the program and finish up the rest of the key press okay guys this how the floating keyboard is looking right now or the floating piano so if i press any of the numbers right here you can see that's me using the keyboard so if i decide to use my mouse it actually do exactly the same thing so guys that's how you create a, that's how you create a floating keyboard using game maker so i'm just gonna call it bye for now i suppose you all enjoyed the tutorial and you all have a nice day